definitely be smart on the jump rope. Like you, if you know a heavy rope is going to be really challenging for you, manage your sets right off the bat. Um, and then I, I would say challenge yourself to do at least some touch and go early on um, and get them out of the way. I think that jump start helped. But again, if grip is a factor, which typically for me it is, um, I just had to play it by feel. First time in a while I've worked out with like, I don't know if I should say that on camera. <laughs> One with misfits, two with like fit people. Except everybody's fit in their own way. Like people that can give you competition. Will push my intensity, yeah. It's been a while. We are going to do heavy rope and power cleans. I forget the rep scheme though. I didn't even look at it. It's a lot. A lot, that's yeah. all I know. Yeah. We are at CrossFit MF in Wyndham, Maine. So we had planned this like four weeks ago to come up two weeks ago. And then Mayhem Madness got postponed the first time. Well, I'll push off my time to come up here. Um, so it's a little closer to the competition. And then a couple days before I was coming up here, they're like, we can't do it. It's canceled. So figured I would still come up anyway. You know, enjoy some summer up in Maine because I like it up here in the summertime. It's a lot of fun. I'm gonna go get that lobster roll today. Hell yeah. Yeah. Get through like the first 20 as touch and go and then singles from there. I was gonna do like some five or something and see how long I decide to do that. Well, you've been up to during this strange time in the world. It's climbing trees. We've been working a lot. Everyone's looking at their trees and backyards right now because they can't go anywhere. So they want everything down and trimmed and clean looking. So I'm trying to balance working full time and training, but now it's kind of off season, Mayhem's canceled. So I'm gonna try to get really strong in the meantime and sort of stay conditioned and then set up for the open in several months. How'd you feel when you heard Mayhem was canceled? I was pretty bummed. I mean. We've had like, like Atlas games, obviously we were there when that was canceled. So like our hopes just keep going up and then they like crush them. So it's just been a lot of like frustrations and stuff this season. So it's at least nice to know that everything's done for the year and we can just get back into a routine of like staying healthy and fit for now and then see what next season looks like. So yeah, I'm actually pretty op optimistic about 2021 in terms of like what the season could look like structurally. And um, so I feel more motivated than I have been in the last like year or two actually to like maintain right now and then like really push like for the open and whatever comes after that. So 30 power cleans at 135, 100. I'm gonna confuse myself. 25, 25 at. 155, 110. 20 power cleans at 185, 125. That's the first normal one I've seen. 15 power cleans at 205, 145. 10 at 225, 165. Ladies, misfits, stop getting stronger. Just make it harder on this.
Jump rope just spikes your heart rate, gets your grip, so hanging off of the barbell is tough, but I just kind of played that by feel. That's so such felt a good. for me. Yeah, if it, if, too. yeah. Like I, sometimes I'm slower at singles, so if I can at least get two, like I was probably Gosh. only ahead on the singles because every once in a while I'll do like two touch and go on you. But he proved it yesterday, like slow and steady wins the race on some. That was kind of my plan this time, but it didn't yeah. work out. I had the like a double under is actually the worst part. Yeah, they, they were I had hard. such a bad stitch in the last two rounds, like I couldn't keep jumping. Yeah, I disagree. I think I broke up 80 into <laughs> four or five sets. Ouch. If I retest that, I gotta do singles and see what happens. Ah. I always feel slower doing touch and go. Definitely be smart on the jump rope. Like you, if you know a heavy rope is gonna be really challenging for you, manage your sets right off the bat. Um, and then I, I would say, Challenge yourself to do at least some touch and go early on um, and get them out of the way. I think that jump start helped. But again, if grip is a factor, which typically for me it is, um, I just had to play it by feel. You kind of have to choose one or the other. If you go like ham on the barbell and go unbroken on the, the rope, it's not going to last very long. Like, so I kind of chose to do touch and go where I'm like very, very comfortable doing quick singles no matter what the weight is. And I would have gone bigger or unbroken sets on the double unders, but it was the other way around and I learned from it, so. Yeah, warm up, like hinge a lot beforehand and get your glutes fired, especially if you're somebody like me that like, if you do change your own weights, that's what burns me out in a Metcon like that, just spending extra time hunched over. Um, so fire your glutes up really well beforehand and I think one thing that tends to happen often is when it starts with a lighter bar, movement efficiency isn't always there. So like my power cleans, I was like catching and my, I wasn't really putting my hips back and that 
uh, I think had something to do with the early burnout. Um, so even though it's lighter and faster, still make sure that you're moving well um, so that you can continue to do that throughout the workout. Hi. Bye. 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 No, just that.